So, before this video starts, I do want to say, um, I'm sorry, it is a tad bit out of focus. Um, this might be a video that, instead of watching with your eyes, you can listen with your ears, because the out, the out of focus might bother some of you guys, and I do, do apologize for that. And I hope this does not happen again. But stay tuned. It's a fun video, I promise. Hey guys, welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. Today's video is going to be um, a me takeover. I'm taking over talking to you guys about my family's um, holiday traditions. So in my family, we do celebrate Christmas. Devin also celebrates Christmas. I don't know if you mentioned that or not. And um, some of our traditions are the same, but some of them are a tad bit different. So. With my family, we also got to open a gift on Christmas Eve, and most of the time it was pajamas. So every single year, my sister and I would get a new set of pajamas or new pajamas. Um, so we kind of, once we got a little bit older, we kind of like caught on to that and we're like, oh, it's pajamas, oh, it's pajamas. And even now to this day, we do get some sort of comfy clothes, whether it be like sweatpants or pajamas so that tradition still is going on which I love that. Another tradition is that we would always get chocolate in our stockings and as I got older it changed to dark chocolate bardos which are my ultimate favorite from C's Candy and that tradition like I said still goes on too so we get or my sister gets her favorite chocolate and I get my favorite chocolate but it also sometimes is British chocolate because uh, my grandma is from England, um, so we had a lot of different types of candy from England, chocolate from England. Um, so sometimes it's British chocolate or sometimes it's um, American chocolate. But I literally love dark chocolate, so it has to be some sort of dark chocolate. But um, from England, not so much. But from America, it has to be dark chocolate. Um, so we get the pajamas, we get the chocolate. Um, we also do a, well, it's a little bit different the past few years, but when I was growing up, we always had a British dinner, so we would have roast beef and Yorkshire, pud Yorkshire puddings, and it was delicious. We also had the crackers, and again, if you're from Europe, you know, not crackers like you eat, like crackers that you pull and then you get the little paper crowns um, and the little prize inside so um, we always do the crackers and then we wear the little paper crowns and it is so cute um, seeing everyone in their little paper crowns and um, we also do um, like a family gift exchange this year we're doing a little bit different we're doing secret Santas this year so you know that will be fun um, also it's not really a I wouldn't say a tradition, it's something I'm trying to do a bit more, which I'm also trying to um, give back to others. So when I was younger, um, my theater group, which I was a part of, we would perform at um, retirement homes and we would perform for um, like children's, a children's hospital, like holiday party, and um, I donate um, foods and toys to um, some local charities to um, help families that don't necessarily, you know, have a lot. So I try my best each year to somehow give back to to those who need a little help around the holidays. Um, this tradition happened when I was younger, and I don't really know how old I was. And it still does go on, you know, now. And it's um, every year when I was little, I would get a new ornament, whether it be from my mom my mom's friends, and so I every year to get a new ornament to hang up on the, sorry, to hang up on the Christmas tree, and this tradition, someone must have a drone flying over, because that is all I hear right now, um, and now this tradition still carries on between Devin and I, and that him and I give each other one ornament every year, um, so that's been a fun thing. Now it's kind of funny though because between Devin and I's ornaments, I get a little confused which ones that he's given me and which ones I've bought for him. But that's always fun to look back on the tree and say, oh, this is the one you got me last year. Or, oh, one of us got each other this ornament. Um, so that's a fun tradition that's been going on for a bit. 
um, other traditions. I'm trying, this is like a bit harder than I thought it would be. Oh, we would always watch Christmas movies, and like Devin mentioned, Elf is my favorite Christmas movie ever, so um, we tend to always watch Elf every year, and along with some other Christmas um, movie. We also, my mom and I love listening to Christmas music, so we always have that. It's funny, this year we actually don't really listen to that much Christmas music, so I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> um, you guys, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear that, but that drone is so annoying. It's like a high pitch, it's like a swarm of bees, that's kind of scary. Um, so, oh, we would also bake. So, my grandma taught me at a very young age of how to bake. So, growing up, I was always in the kitchen with her, whether it was cooking or baking. But around the holidays, we love baking. Whether it be mince pies, whether it be cookies, brownies, cakes, any, anything that we're in the mood for, we're baking. So, that's another tradition. And I also have not done enough baking this holiday season, so I have to change that because I love baking, and um, I'm thinking this is going to be my last holiday tradition, and I'm probably missing a lot, um, or like a few, but I can't really think right now. I should have written them down, but I didn't. Um, so one of the last traditions that I'm going to be mentioning in this video is looking at Christmas lights. I love, love, love going around different neighborhoods, not even my own, and looking at Christmas lights, either on houses or buildings, you know, wherever they are, I love them. They are beautiful, and they just bring me so much joy. <laughs> um, and I will probably be showing some Christmas lights in, you know, upcoming videos. But yeah, those are just a few of my um, Christmas traditions. Why don't you guys do me this? Do me this? Why don't you guys do this for me? Leave a comment down below with some of your guys' holiday traditions, and let's see what holiday traditions that we have in common. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys!